Oh, all right, well, where are we going to get ropes from? Oh, it's fucking going. Yeah, you can't stop it, mate. It's actually just sinking. Oh, Everyone, we're at Stony Point boat ramp. Unfortunately, I've just witnessed this car slide down the ramp. This poor bloke. Um, yeah. Wow. Oh my god. That's the headlights down there, everyone. Oh my god. And there's his kayak. He was just, he was backing up to put his kayak on, which is just here. And next thing you know, he was just walking up to the door. Next thing you know, the car's rolling back and smashes into the kayak. And just, that's what happens sometimes. We see it all, all the time. It can happen to anyone. You know, man, how are you going? Yeah, not too bad. Self winger. What's just happened, mate? Um, I was just pulled up in my kayak and reversed the car down to go get the kayak, and it, uh, the handbrake decided to slip, oh. and the car went for a swim. Go. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Yeah. You, you don't seem too sad about it. There's not much you can do about it, is there? Oh. Really? Can't really be sad when you have a good day's fishing, mate. Yeah, good. Show us what you got. This, this, this is you fish. Let's actually look at some fish. <laughs> Your fish. Well, there's some whiting in there, and some slimies for bait. That's so. some good whiting too, mate. I'll tell you, that's some big fish. That one there is a big one. So, okay, you've lost your car. <laughs> tell us though, are you insured? Yes, I am insured. Well, we got good eyewitnesses. You got it on film, so we all saw it was an accident. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and you don't mind us using this footage? No, I don't mind you using nah. this footage. All. You're very brave, mate. You're taking it well. You're taking it like a man. That's awesome. Yeah. Dave might have something that make your day a bit better. Oh yeah. What do you got there, Dave? We're gonna make it all worthwhile. <laughs> what do you got there, Dave? Brand new U fish shirt. That is the first one ever off the press. Turn it around and show us the front. There it is, the new Ufish TV fins. And flip it back again. And that's the artwork we spent months getting right. Those big beastly kings. Love to give it to you mate. At least have put some positive spin on your day. There's something for you. <laughs> Why? Because it's stunt. Ufish stunt cam. That Thanks. was the best. Well Thanks, done mate. mate. Thanks for that. Made my day a little bit better. <laughs> ah well. Oh shit. And there's the local. How you going, mate? Good, thanks, Winger. How are you? Good. And that, how many times has that happened down here that you've seen? I'm team. Really? Yeah, second one in uh, two weeks. Fair dinkum. Yeah, 12-month-old Triton two weeks ago. And she's pretty deep down there, isn't she, yeah. mate? The first thing you had to do was come out and get that post and block the lane. Yep. And now we're just Once waiting for again. salvage. I mean, what's the idea? Who do, we, who do we call when this sort of stuff happens? What's the idea? Oh, I think the best thing you do is just call your insurance company. And they'll take care yeah, of it. Yeah, Don't come and get me. I might be in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bringing the tractor out this late at night. Bad job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, there's always a gopal, isn't yeah. there? Just rocks up, save the day. Watching that boat sink very quickly, as you saw, it made me realise something very, very important. And listen, listen, we can all learn from this. Don't ever, ever leave your kids in the car on a boat ramp when you're reversing. You get the kids out, you just get them to the side, you tell them to sit down, you never leave them in the car when you're reversing down and putting your boat in or pulling your boat out. And that is why, because if there have been kids in that car tonight, no good. So I hope, if nothing else, it serves as a warning for people not to do that. Anyway, let's get back to what we do, you fish TV, fishing. Is what we need here is a hero, a good old fashioned Aussie hero, someone that's not afraid to wade into three metres of shark free, croc free water with a piece of dangerous chain and somehow connected to a car. That's all we're talking about. We're not talking about Steve Irwin jumping on crocs, we're not talking about jumping with stingrays. Have you ever seen Steve Irwin get in like the water with like five metre crocs and just walk in the water with them and they're terrified of him because the man just oozes charisma and ooze that aura of terror. Now what we need is someone like that. Someone who's got a real strong skull for this sort of stuff. <laughs> who's this? Oh, this oh my god. Alright, let's go have a look. 
Uh, yes. <laughs> you freaking legend. Is it normal for you just to, you know, carry just like diving gear and everything in your car? Yeah, it is actually. All right. Got everything. I was just talking to everyone, saying to everyone that, you know, it's not like you're getting in with the water with a crocodile or a shark or, you know, we're talking about the safe, calm, three metre water start of your home waterway, mate. You dive here every day. You're going to smash this stuff. Oh. It's going to be a walk. Mate, I just want to hear, hear you ooze confidence, job it. I want you to go down and say, yep, this is easy and do it. Everyone, oh. this is good old fashioned Aussie hero ship. Yes. Yeah, coming to the left a bit this way, back to the ramp a bit, Job. 